Hi, Booktube. Alright, for those of you who follow me on Instagram or Goodreads, you know that I just finished reading The Bone Witch by Rin Gepecco. And I gotta tell you, one of the things I love most about this book is one of the things that lasts throughout the entire book and makes me very happy. And that is the relationship with the main character and her brother. So the main character of this book is Tia and she's the youngest and she has an older brother and a bunch of older sisters. Her older brother's name is Fox and he's always been very protective of his family seeing as that he's the only brother. Now I love how this book starts because the first line is literally on the cover because it's so good. It's, let me be clear, I never intended to raise my brother from his grave. So obviously we know that she is like a necromancer and she raised her brother after he died. I have to say, him dead and following her around on her journey, and the relationship that just blooms from that, makes my heart melt. I love it so much more than even the romance relationship, which I'm also in support of, and I'll get there later. Like, I have an older brother, and I love him very much, don't get me wrong, but, uh, sibling goals right here. So really what the book is more so about is that Tia obviously has this power to raise things from the dead, and so she is the Bone Witch. Um, and a lot of people in the world have different opinions on this kind of magic, most other. So the ones who wield magic are called ashes, and a lot of them are more elemental type magic, so dealing with fire, water, wind, earth. She deals with death and like the souls and hearts of different creatures. And so some kingdoms in this world are like, yeah, sure, fine, it's magic, you do you, and others are like, no, don't go near me like I'm too afraid or I don't like you. And that's actually going to lead me into the world itself. I absolutely love this world. There are eight different kingdoms and there's also a map, at least in this copy that I borrowed from the library. I love it so much. I love books with maps in them. So this character has this power. She raises her brother from the dead and gets her noticed by a lady, Michaela. I hope I say that character name right because it's spelled differently than how I've seen that name spelled. We'll go with it. Um, she is also like a necromancer, a bone witch. I'm going to start calling them bone witches now. And she decides to take the main character, Tia, under her win wing to kind of teach her how to develop her power and how to be an Asha. Because being an Asha is much more than just learning how to use your power. So she brings her to the house of Valerian. And that's where bunch of you know ashes come to learn there are a bunch of different houses and each house is trying to be the best and um yeah so they travel to a new kingdom and the thing is is that Tia starts her journey actually cleaning and doing chores and running errands all for the head of the house who is like i imagine her as like a creepy old woman but she's she's a very fun character she brings her brother Fox along with her, and so the book is really about her journey at the house, becoming an apprentice, and all the different things that challenge her, all the things that happen to her. The thing about this book is looking back on it, I feel like it moved really slowly, but when I was reading it, it did not feel like that at all. Like, overall, what happened in the book is she went to the house, she did chores, she became uh, like an apprentice, kind of, she starts her training. And that's, for the most part, a very broad way of putting everything that happened. And yet, I flew through this when I had time to read. I absolutely, I loved it. But I will do this video with no spoilers. However, there is one thing I'm going to say. The ending. Did not see that coming. I had no idea. I have to tell you, I'm really excited for the next Look, I read that this is going to be a series. I don't know how many are going to be in the series. But as soon as I find the second book, I'm reading it. <laughs> and I'm really excited too because it just cannot end. Another thing about this book is that you end the chapter with like a page or so of like, I think it's the future. I don't really know. I was kind of hoping that would be resolved in the end because I didn't know if it was a series until the end of it. And it wasn't. That's another thing that just makes me excited for the next book. 
because I want to figure out what exactly that is and what all happened. I want to know. I have so many questions and yet I'm also really satisfied with how the book ended. I can't explain it. You just gotta, you just gotta read it. There's also romance in this book, but it's not the kind of romance that you see in every other YA book. What I, I really like it for that because it's the idea of like, okay, so she, she's the guy, his, he is Prince Kant. So she, she meets him a time and then she meets him again and they get to know each other a little bit and they, he starts to develop a crush on him by the end of the book. And that's pretty much all that happens. Like they don't rush into things too quickly. They don't, like, it's still very realistic and that she's busy because she has a ton of lessons of learning how to fight, learning how to sing, learning how to dance, learning how to use her powers, um, the kit and all that kind of things. And he's off, you know, the prince of one of the kingdoms and needs to handle all the political situations, especially since there's this force called the Faceless and they're kind of terrorizing all the kingdoms and like, oh my word. And that's kind of the overall, like, it's on the back burner that's still there. It's also not the main focus quite yet. So he's trying to deal with that, but they their paths keep on crossing at parties and different events and her becoming an Asha is this huge um, privilege and it's really exciting. And so of course he's gonna go to the ceremony and everything. And, but as an overall first book, it, it got, got everything started. It explained the world, a little bit of the politics and the magic system and the culture. Um, it introduced all the characters wonderfully and it kind of set up these relationships. Like I said, Tia and her brother Fox, but also Tia and the Michaela, who is one of her sister, one of her sisters and her, kind of the person who helps train her. Read it. I believe I actually gave it five stars on Goodreads, which is something I don't plan on doing a lot, not because like super picky on books but because like I always believe that people can improve and be better and even though like when I read a book and I really like it I'll give it like normally four stars then I'll talk about how much I loved it I don't always say the critiques I have for it but that's just because I believe like you can always get better and better and better at things if I had to critique this book I would probably say I, I would say, so there's a lot of terminology in here, and the, the descriptions to help you understand the terminology, or it just kind of expects you to know some things, um, didn't quite stick in my head a little bit. There could be more description of the area, it could be more description, like, clothing that they wear is very special, and it has a certain name, it's like a, it's a Hua, H-U-A, and... I don't really have a steady image of what that looks like because it describes the colors and the patterns, but I don't know if it's like a tunic, is it a wrap? Like, so there's some terminology and there's not too much description. Check it out from your local library, buy it from your local bookstore, buy it online, whatever floats your boat. Except if you're reading this in a boat, be very careful because I don't want you to drop it into the water and that always scares me. I remember reading in the bath, like, it's so much fun and relaxing but at the same time I'm absolutely terrified that I'm gonna drop it in the bath. Never have. I'm very glad I've never dropped a book or gotten one wet. I'm just so afraid. So if you share that fear with me, comment down below. If you've read this book, comment down below. If you haven't or have any questions about it, comment down below. If you like how I went over this review or if you want to have reviews of other books, um, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up if you are interested in reading this book, if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!